It's a given. You can't talk ACC basketball without Duke or North Carolina. Pretty soon, though, you may have to add Florida State to that conversation. The Seminoles, fresh off their Sweet 16 run in last year's NCAA tournament, feel like they belong among the conference's elite. Hard to argue with a team that has finished with double-digit conference wins three consecutive seasons. Head coach Leonard Hamilton on number three on our preseason countdown, the Florida State Seminoles. We feel like we should be an improved basketball team. Uh, we had a lot of challenges that we had to overcome last year, and by the time it came around that Chris got, uh, when he got hurt, uh, we had been accustomed to dealing with not having a full complement of our players. Uh, so I, I think we're well prepared now. We have an experienced team returning. I uh, have six seniors, guys who have been around a while. Uh, they're giving us tremendous leadership. If we can be bored of injuries, I think we can make an uh, improvement over last season. I think the strength of this team is in, in our numbers. I think we have quality players. We have quality depth. I'm not real sure we have that one guy like Tony Douglas or Al Thornton we've had in the past that are capable of going out and giving us 25 or 30. But then we have a lot of guys who are capable of going out and getting 10, 12 points a game. And I think we have quality depth uh, that on any given night guys can step up and be productive. So we're hopeful that could be, end up being the strength of our team in the numbers that we have. Well, obviously, Xavier Gibson represents a guy who is 6'11", he can in, play inside, he can score inside, he's athletic, he's big, he's strong, he's long. We need him to play up to his ability. He can make a difference because he's hard to handle being as long as he is. But we have a lot of guys that need, just need to step it up. It's a few percentage points. We challenged our entire team if they can just improve in every area of the game, two percentage points, we think we'll be okay. Well, the expectation for us is to reach our full potential, you know, and we feel like if we just take it one day at a time, we keep getting better in all those areas where we've challenged our players to, uh, to improve in, we, we, we think at the end of the season it'll take care of itself. Sometimes you can point toward the end of the season and not do very much about what you can control. That's each and every day preparing yourself to make sure you go out and work hard and practice to get better each and every day. We, th we think if we keep that mindset that has helped the last six years where, you know, we've become a program that's moved up and gotten closer to the, the, the top two programs in our league. We're not there yet. Uh, we're not satisfied with just being third. Uh, what we want to do is try to move into the, uh, uh, the, the, the top spot. You do that by worrying about those things you can control. Can't worry about what happens in March. You got to take care of what goes on in October 1st.